Hey guys, Alan Hain here, the Lawn Care Nut, and today I have a craft beer tip. What is lawnmower beer? So this is kind of a term that's starting to get used quite a bit, and I wanted to kind of talk about it a little bit, because lawnmower beer is an important part of the overall and total lawn care experience. So from what I understand, lawnmower beer, that term originally came from a beer that you could take on your lawnmower with you. Now that doesn't really work for me because as you've seen in my videos, I use a push mower. So for me, a lawnmower beer is one that I can enjoy after I've had a long, hot, sweaty day of mowing, weed, whacking, blowing, edging, and all that fun stuff, right? And when I'm done, I wanna sit back and I wanna enjoy a nice craft beer and look at my little patch of green love. And so that's what I consider a lawnmower beer. Now I have some criteria though. I'm not just gonna drink any beer. Just like I'm not gonna treat my lawn in any old way. I'm very meticulous with it. I take care of it. I talk to it. I love it. I put a lot of effort into it and the results are incredibly awesome. The same thing I expect from my beer. So for me, a lawnmower beer, number one, needs to be a craft beer. And if at all possible, a local craft beer. I'm a big proponent of drink local. So today I'm actually drinking a local craft beer here from Figure 8 Brewing in Valparaiso. And this is called First Ascent. And it's a Belgian lager. And the nice thing about this is it's not gonna blow you over the edge. Uh, trust me, I am a certified hop head. I love hops, but when it comes to a lawnmower beer, when it comes to hot and sweating in the sun, I need something light, crisp, and refreshing, but I still want a lot of flavor. I don't want any watery Miller Lite or Bud Light. So this is right where I go. And again, local keeps my money in my community. Um, and never, you know, never disappoints. And I'll tell you, another great reason to support your local craft brewer is because you can get to know them. I mean, I go into figure eight and I actually know the brewmaster, Mike Lottie, one of the coolest dudes on the planet. And, you know, you're not going to get that with, you know, big mass produced beers. You can't go in and make friends and, and hang out and drink with the actual guy that brews the beer uh, and understand where it comes from and how his personality is in the beer. I mean, it's true artisan beer it's true artisan brewing by entrepreneurs in your local area and that's another reason to to totally drink local and support that local craft brewery that's right up the road from you there are also a lot of lawnmower beers that you can get if you don't have a local craft brewery near you and so here are three examples here's roly bully this is very widely distributed um, this is brewed in colorado and then here is Sierra Nevada Summer Ale, this is very widely brewed. This is brewed in California, and Sierra Nevada always makes really good quality products. And then 312, which is a Chicago brew, um, but has recently been acquired by one of the larger uh, beer companies, but still has not affected its quality. Another really good uh, lawnmower beer. Another term for lawnmower beer could be session beer, something you can drink in a long session. So that's really the criteria that I have for a lawnmower beer and I'd like to know what is it that you guys drink what's your favorite lawnmower beer what do you use to wind down after a long hot day of working in the yard what are you going to do to refresh yourself at the end of the day what's your favorite lawnmower beer by the way I do talk a lot about craft beer on my personal google plus page and I'll put a link below if you'd like to follow me there talk a little craft beer with me I'm Alan Hain the lawn care nut talking a little lawnmower beer today I'll see you in the lawn